Now watch what I'm saying. When we sold the place, when we, like we cleaned it up, when we sold the place to get the house that we currently live in, there was something in the woods, right? There was a deer stand in the woods. Now watch, watch. When we moved out, I left the deer stand. Still in the woods to this day. Whose is it? You know what I'm saying? I sold the property. It's no longer mine. What about my other stuff on the property? What about the stuff that, you know, is still there? Is it mine? Like, I'm relating this directly to, like, the, the baggage we carry, the sins we got, the, the memories that we can't let go of, the things that we won't forgive ourselves for. They still mine? Nah, man. They are mine. I, left it. I left the deer stand in the woods. It ain't mine no more. When they bought the house, they bought the whole seven acres with it. Everything on that piece of property is now the new homeowners. I can't go back for it. Matter of fact, I don't want to go back for it. And watch this. This one's going to help someone out there. You want to know why I left it in the woods? Because it would do me no good where I was going. I ain't got woods to put one in. So I left it. I don't need it where I'm going. And that's all I'm telling you. You've been bought and paid for. Every sin you ever committed, have or committed or will commit, been bought and paid for. Leave them there. Where you going, there ain't no need of them. They don't belong in heaven. Just like that deer stand don't belong on a cornfield. Feel me? Leave them there. Let the new owner have it. And he'll do what he wants with it. You know what he's going to do with it? He's going to take them out the forest and he's going to bury them in the deepest ocean. He don't want them either. But he had to take them to get you. And you were the prize. So he takes everything else that isn't you and he buries it. Separates it from you as far as the east is from the west. Why? Because he's building something brand new. He ain't refurbishing nastiness. He's giving you a whole new lease on life. A whole new way to live. He's giving you a whole new identity. Where a slave once stood, a son now stands. You something brand new. Let go of what you can't take with you. You ain't meant to carry it your whole life. You sold this property. This heart belongs to Jesus. And what else? Everything else. Ain't nothing else to find you. Ain't nothing else attached to you. He owns it all if you sold yourself to him. What do you think he comes knocking for? He knew it. Listen, he saw you in that dirt. He knew what he was getting himself into. You ain't too far gone. Your sins ain't that bad. Matter of fact, ain't one sin greater than his grace that he could put upon, than his forgiveness, than his blood, because his blood washes everything clean. That's the deal. That's the deal. And that's what I'm going to encourage you with. Don't you dare, don't you dare walk through this life like you're going to take a home to heaven with you. You ain't taking nothing home except the name of Jesus because that is what he has gifted you here. You are a brand new creation. You are son of the most high through the blood of Christ. You got the family name on you. That's what gets you in the doors. That sin that you dragging along, he owns it. Let it go. Let the new owner have it free and clear. Because he bought and paid for it too. It was a package deal. And you let him do with what he wants to do with it. Feel me? Ah, the freedom that's in this. The freedom. You ain't got to go back looking for it no more. It's dead and gone. You get to walk into life, something brand new. You ain't got to worry about the past. You get to focus on the future because God got great plans for you. He got plans to prosper you. For the days you got left, oh, he's going to build up something beautiful on his piece of property because his name's tied to it now. He's going to let his blessing rest on this home. He's going to let his peace reside here. He's going to let his spirit re, um, <laughs> decorate this thing beautifully because it's his temple now. And all we got to do is let him. <laughs>